And let's take a look at the spacesuits of the Artemis generation. Is this the worst fashion show ever? NASA, I love you, but maybe it's worth bringing in a consultant next time you want to show off your new threads. This week, we got our first look at the next generation spacesuits that NASA astronauts will wear on their way to and on the moon. And they are nothing if not patriotic. Let's call this NASA's Artemis line. Artemis being the name of NASA's current lunar exploration program. This runway model is sporting the prototype ZEMU. That stands for Exploration Extravehicular Mobility Unit. It's the spacesuit that will be worn by the first woman to walk on the moon if and when NASA returns in 2024. Now I know, looking at these suits, they don't look much different than the ones you see astronauts use on spacewalks these days, but they are way more advanced. Just ask this spacesuit engineer. My job is to take a basketball, shape it like a human, keep them alive in a harsh environment, and give them the mobility to do their job. Okay, let's start with mobility. I'll admit, when I first watched this, I thought to myself, really? They couldn't give her a ramp or something? But NASA was obviously demonstrating the mobility here. Let's just say the astronauts of yesteryear didn't exactly have an easy time getting around the lunar surface. And you've probably seen those old videos of them hopping around. That's not exactly energy efficient for someone spending hours doing physical labor in reduced gravity. So on these new suits, engineers use new joint bearings that allow bending and rotating at the hips and increase bending at the knees. That means astronauts can actually walk on the moon. Okay, maybe not that kind of moonwalking, but still. And check out those kicks. Those are essentially hiking boots. Now, look at that upper torso. Aside from this demonstration going on for an awkwardly long time, this is pretty cool. Those pieces around the shoulders rotate the full 360 degrees, giving her a lot more mobility with the arms. She can actually put her arms over her head. That's a big deal. Astronauts can't even do that right now. Oh, did someone ask if she can pick up rocks? She's gonna show us how to pick up a rock, if she can handle it, and she can. It's a heavy rock. This is difficult to do in a spacesuit. All right. Not surprisingly, one of the most important new features is one you can't see. NASA learned from the Apollo program that one of the most dangerous parts of the moon is actually the soil. It's made up of these tiny glass-like shards. So the Zemu was designed without any zippers or cables to keep all that lunar dust out, and all the important components are sealed off. But maybe one of the coolest parts of the suit? It's modular. Parts can be swapped out for different missions and environments, and NASA says that means this could be the suit that astronauts one day wear on Mars. Of course, these suits will all be custom fit. Astronauts will undergo full 3D body scans while they perform basic motions they do during a spacewalk, so NASA can size the suits for maximum comfort and mobility. This is the Orion Survival System. This is the flight suit Artemis astronauts will wear on their way to and back from space. It's specifically designed to keep people alive inside a spacecraft. NASA says this is a complete redesign from head to toe from what astronauts wore on the shuttle missions. That includes a lighter and stronger helmet, improved communications, adaptable life support systems, and of course, better mobility. In case you're wondering, orange isn't just NASA's favorite color. They picked it to make astronauts easy to spot in the ocean if that's ever needed. Again, every Orion crew member gets their suit custom fit. Believe it or not, the shuttle era spacesuits basically came off the shelf in sizes like small, medium, and large. That became an issue not too long ago when NASA had to scrap what was supposed to be the first all-female spacewalk because they didn't have enough suit size for women on the International Space Station. NASA's chief subtly admitted, yeah, that was our bad. We as the Artemis generation are building spacesuits that will fit all of our astronauts. We want every person uh, who dreams of going into space to be able to say to themselves that yes, they have that opportunity. Of course, these are prototypes. There's still a ton of testing to be done before a human can actually wear one of these in space. But NASA says it's committed to a sustainable human presence on the moon and given that just this week, NASA took steps to support as many as 10 Artemis missions, plus the rocket core stage of the space launch system set to roll out in December, it's really exciting to see all these pieces come together. 
So tell me, what do you want to know about NASA's plans for the future? Let me know in the comments. That's going to do it for this week. I'm Andy Altman. I'll see you in the future. I can't get my left leg in front of me. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, dum, dum.